Hello pilots of the internet and welcome to Power Up. In this video I will be covering the basics that you need to know in order to ensure that your first flights with the Power Up modules are as successful as possible. Now some of these rules are things that you could maybe break and get away with, but some of these are absolutely essential to ensuring successful flight. So with that in mind, let's get to it. After opening your module, the first thing you'll want to do is perform a power and communication check. So you can see we have a switch here right on the top of the module. And when I turn it on, three things happen. We get a blue blinking light, we get that audible chime, and the propellers spin. Those three things are just saying, hey, your module works. Now I'm going to try to pair to the module with my phone, and I'm going to start by making sure that Bluetooth is on, and I'll go ahead and turn Wi-Fi off. And now I'm going to open the PowerUp 4.0 app. And just by holding my module close to my phone, they've already paired. That sound of the motor running is an audible cue that the two are paired. And you also get this blinking light by the word invader that is giving you that same indication. Now there are many planes we could choose from here, but for this example, I'm just going to stick with invader. A very important thing to note is that Android users will get a prompt asking you to allow the PowerUp 4.0 to access the device's location. You must click allow in order for this Bluetooth connection to work. We're not collecting any information on you, but that is necessary for the function. Now something else you'll want to do is make sure that you have the most updated software and firmware before you go on your first flight. And of course, fully charge your module before you fly. Now while we're talking about the connection between your module and your phone, an important topic to discuss is the range of that connection. And that's basically the point at which your module can no longer effectively receive commands from your phone. And there are a few ways to increase that range. One very easy one is to remove your phone case. Another very easy one is to make sure that this antenna is standing vertically. And then a third one is to avoid flying in areas with electrical wires or in residential areas that have a lot of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth interference. After you've confirmed that your power-up module will turn on and will connect to your phone, it is of course time to make your airplane. Now there are many, many planes that will work with the power-up modules, but I recommend starting with our Invader model because it is easy to fold and easy to fly. And you'll see that the power-up modules even come with paper for folding Invader. If you'd like a full tutorial, click on the card in the top right corner. Once you've constructed your plane, you're ready to attach your module to it. Now you can see that I've already put the crossbar on the module, and the way you do that is you align it kind of parallel with the shaft of the module, and you just twist it into place. And when you hear that click, you know that you're properly connected. Now I'll find the clips on the bottom of the module and slide the keel of the plane into those clips. Make sure that the plane goes all the way to the front of the clips where it will stop, and then you can flip this over and take a look here. We're now going to slide this crossbar into the position marked on the template, and I'm going to apply tape here and over both sides of the crossbar to hold it all in place. Once your module is attached to the plane, find the trim card. And you can see we have this corner cut off of the card, and that's going to help you in adjusting your elevators. So you can see I'm going to bend these up slightly, and basically I want to bend them up at the same angle as this corner of the trim card. So that's going to give you a nice indication of exactly where to put them. And basically this is going to help counteract the plane's natural tendency to nosedive because there's so much weight on the front of the plane. If you bend the elevators up too far, it will stall, and if you don't bend them up enough, it will dive. So this is just a good guide for your first flight. Now, after you have constructed your plane and attached your module, I am sure you feel like you are ready to put this thing in the air, you are ready to get going, and I don't blame you at all. You're probably excited. But I want you to wait just one moment because this is the most important part of the video. I want you to be very selective about where you fly this plane. This is not a drone that can hover in place and fly in small, tight areas. This is a plane that needs a lot of room to fly. Room that is free of obstacles like trees or buildings, and that is not above hard surfaces like asphalt. So flying over something like a football field, a baseball field, a soccer field, those are all great open areas. But flying in your neighborhood next to buildings and trees, honestly, that's gonna be a worst case scenario where you might lose or damage your airplane, and that's just not what you want. Another important thing to consider is the weather. Now obviously your module is not waterproof, so flying in the rain is a bad idea. Don't do that. 
But even moderate winds will lead to a less than thrilling experience with your power up module because this plane is extremely light and it's going to get kicked around. So flying on calm days is certainly the ideal. Once you've selected a field to fly in, you're ready for your first test flight. Now we recommend for that first test flight that you don't use any power from the module at all. Just throw the plane and see how it's flying. This will allow you to assess whether the plane is flying well or whether you're going to need to make some adjustments. If it dives into the ground, bend the elevators up slightly, and if it's stalling, you can reduce the angle of those elevators. Once your plane is properly adjusted and flying well without power, you're ready for powered flight. Now we always recommend that you launch into the wind, but for this first flight, we recommend that you use just about 60% thrust. You're not looking for long sustained flight here. You're just trying to get used to the controls. Make sure that you can fly a nice straight and level path, and then maybe try to land it safely. After that, you're ready to take full control of your airplane and use as much thrust as you need. After every landing, be sure to inspect your plane. Make sure that the module is still properly attached to the plane and make sure that it's connected to your phone as well. Then make any adjustments necessary to improve the performance of your plane and repair any damage. If your plane's damaged beyond repair, you can of course make another one. That's not that hard. Now something that's important that a lot of people forget is you should immediately recharge your module after every flight session. And this will protect the battery. And with that, you're armed with everything you need to know in order to have some successful flights with the power-up modules. Good luck flying.